Hey guys, this is Brandon with just another Mobile Monday. Uh, as most of you know, I've been messing around with an HP Mini for the last little while. And uh, this is the mobile internet experience version, uh, basically running a modified version of Ubuntu Linux. Uh, HP has basically custom set this thing up, so it's um, very simple to use, designed um, really for uh, the person who likes to go home, maybe do a little bit of web surfing and check their email. And so as I'm one of those people who spends 90% of their time um, at home, working on emails and doing web surfing and that sort of thing the HP Mini really has turned into a nice little device for me it's very compact um, only weighs a couple pounds has a pretty decent battery life and it's super simple so one of the things though that I really don't like about the device is the touchpad or the trackpad and you know it's I guess just a personal opinion of mine or a personal thing of mine that I really can't stand the way my finger slides across it and you know truth be told I'm very spoiled by my my MacBook which has the glass trackpad on it so I've gotten very used to the glass trackpad I've gotten very used to multi-touch I've gotten used to a lot of those things and so yesterday there was an update to touchpad elite which is an iPhone uh, iPod touch application which um, basically, you know, here, slide this in here. Very simple, uh, it's just, you know, a very simple, simple interface, but it records your touches. And as you can see in the mouse in the background, um, it allows me to interact with the device, with, you know, with the touch and with the HP Mini. So I have uh, a very functional uh, remote trackpad. I can use this from anywhere in my house and have it cruise across the screen because it functions over Wi-Fi uh, using VNC. So um, to get this set up it was really simple again that was the goal. Um, so within the HP interface um, there's a pre-configured option for remote desktop and I just went in set up a couple options you know required myself to enter a password um, and allowed other users to view my desktop and then just went into touchpad elite told it you know this is what I want to do connect to this machine and away we go so uh, very simple simple stuff and now I've got a beautiful multi-touch uh, interface for using the HP mini which I think is incredibly cool now I can kinda just set it down on my lap and and not have to use the uh, the trackpad that I really don't like um, and and now I've also got multi-touch and um, a keyboard to go along with it. So, um, sorry, this is a little bit dim, but you know what can you do? Um, all right, so let me just go to a website here that I know I'm going to be able to scroll on. And that's something else with the HP Mini. The uh, there is on the right hand side of the trackpad there is you know a little slider that lets you go up and down. Um, doesn't work real well for me, you know, bigger fingers and whatnot, but. Um, using uh, touchpad elite I've got a two finger multi-touch scroll which works perfectly so anyway um, that's just a quick look at what I was able to do using touchpad elite for the iPhone iPod touch and the HP mini me um, you know very very simple very cool uh, remote trackpad so and a little bit later on, we'll, I'll clean up the video and everything. We'll take a look at uh, the interface so we give you a bit better idea of what's going on in all the background here. Thanks.